Hello, I'm Kevin Smith, self-advocate coordinator of West Virginia. This is a training on self-advocacy. Mission of People First is to promote self-advocacy by speaking, acting on behalf of rights and responsibilities of all people with developmental disability. Before I start training you, let me tell you how I got into it. I got into it by the Ark of Wood County called up and said, do you want to go to a convention of people first in Tennessee? And I said, yeah, when do you want my bags packed and when do you want me ready? And I thought it was going to be something that was, we were going to Nashville. I thought I would see country music stars. But I I seen stars in self-advocacy that taught me a lot. This, about the middle of 1991, fall of 91, we went to Tennessee and first time in a big hotel and when we got in breakout sessions I found out that I have rights and responsibilities and I started applying it to my life soon as I got back and they called me up said Kevin can you present what you learned in front of the Developmental Disabilities Council. And I said, yeah, I think I can. So I pulled out the Kessa player and refreshed my memory of everything I learned. And when I got the microphone, I just ran away with it. And Julie Pratt was the director of the Developmental Disabilities Council. After our segment was over, she came up to me, says, you've got a long life in this kind of work. And I've been in it since 1991, 92, I took position with the Arkwood County. Grant was awarded to the Ark of, of Wood County. Second self-advocacy grant was awarded in 2008. And I guess I found out about it and put my application in with Christina and she hired me back again. If you don't know, I was the first coordinator, and I'm the second coordinator this time. You might say they recycled me. What is people first? Let me tell you my view of people first. It is the organization that no matter what your disability is, they look at your ability, not your disability. The people with IDD runs it. I mean, they're the president of their local group, their vice president, secretary, sergeant of arms. It's just ran by the people which it should be. It teaches rights and responsibility, speaking up, being self-determination in your life. People first need you if you've ever made a decision in your life. And decisions 
don't have to be big ones. It might be what time you go to bed, what time you get up, or what you want to eat, or when you go out in community, where you want to go, or how you want to get there. If you can't do that, we we would like to teach you in these segments how to speak up and how to advocate for yourself. Because if you're with your parents, parents might not understand that life moves on and you may be left in some situation that your parents may not be able to make decisions for you. It's bigger than that. If if you want to make changes in people's lives, like going to your legislature and advocating for bills and change, and we've seen the... Our word be taken out of state code, out of federal legislation. These are little things, but to people with IDD, it's very big. You can join in and do things like that if that's what you're interested in. Why would we want to join people first? Social reasons, educational reasons, improve human rights. We're going to break them down and show you a slide that talks about each one of them. Social reasons, we hold monthly meetings get together, make friends, refreshments, social time. We enjoy picnics, parties, and recreation. Why is that important? That gives you a chance to make new friends and talk about problems that you may be having realize that you're not alone and me myself i've found out by joining people first that i had as much to give as anyone else even with all my disabilities i've got abilities You might discover that you can do a lot of things that you didn't think you could. People with IDD tends to be isolated, and they see their family, their caregiver, but this is a chance to to meet people all over this great state. We do a conference up at Jackson's Mill, and people all over West Virginia gather us for three days. We like to learn and have fun just like everyone else. Education information. Brings storm and solve problems. Learn about our rights and responsibilities. Everyone has rights. I hear it all the time. People say, I've got the right to do this. Yeah? But I would like to do something different. I would like to have for every right you've got, you've got a responsibility to that right. You've got the right to go spend your money 
but you got to make sure you got your bills paid, have food for a month, and that's where the responsibility comes in. Learn how government works. So many people sits back and complains about the cuts to Medicaid. But do you understand the the impact 